Bitcoin versus quantum computers, should you be worried? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into finance, tech, or even just futuristic sci-fi-like breakthroughs, you're going to want to stick around for this one because today we're diving into something that sounds straight out of a movie, quantum computers, and what they could mean for Bitcoin and the security of your investments. Imagine a world where diseases like Alzheimer's and cancer are no longer deadly. A world where living past 100 years old is common. A world where energy breakthroughs solve climate change and materials stronger than anything we've ever seen revolutionize space exploration. That's the promise of quantum computing. Machines so powerful they can simulate nature and solve problems. Today's fastest supercomputers couldn't solve in the age of the universe. Sounds amazing, right? But hold up, there's a flip side. These same quantum computers could rewrite the rules of security, posing serious questions about your digital assets, like Bitcoin. With Google recently unveiling its most advanced quantum processor yet, the Willow chip, the big question is, are your Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies safe? Let's break it all down, starting with the basics. What are quantum computers? Right now, the computers we use rely on bits, those ones and zeros, to process information. But quantum computers use something called qubits, which can exist in a state of superposition, meaning they can be a one and a zero at the same time. This property gives quantum computers an incredible edge for solving certain kinds of problems. Here's an analogy. A regular computer solves a maze by trying one path at a time. A quantum computer? It tries every single path at the same time to find the solution almost instantly. It's not just faster, it's an entirely new way of computing. Now, Google has taken a giant leap forward with its Willow chip. This chip is their most advanced quantum processor yet, capable of solving a problem in under five minutes that would take today's fastest supercomputer 10 to the power of 25 years. For perspective, that's a one followed by 25 zeros, longer than the age of the universe. What does this mean for Bitcoin? Bitcoin security depends on two main types of encryption. ECDSA 256. This is used to generate your private and public keys. SHA-256. This is the cryptographic hash function that secures the blockchain. Both of these are designed to be practically unbreakable with today's technology. However, quantum computers operate on a completely different level. Let's start with ECDSA-256, which protects your private key. Normally, it's impossible to figure out your private key from your public key. But with enough quantum power, a method called Shor's algorithm could break this encryption. The good news, estimates suggest it would take over 1 million qubits to pull this off. Google's Willow chip, while groundbreaking, has only 105 qubits. Then there's SHA-256, the backbone of Bitcoin's blockchain. Even with a quantum advantage, cracking this encryption would require a quantum computer capable of searching through two to the power of 128 possibilities. That's such a mind-bogglingly huge number that it's like guessing the exact grain of sand I'm thinking of. Not from one beach, but from all the sand on Earth. Technically possible, but practically impossible right now. The catch. Is Bitcoin safe forever? While Bitcoin's encryption is safe for now, the race to develop better quantum computers is speeding up. Some experts think it might take 10, 20 years before we see quantum computers with enough power to threaten Bitcoin's encryption. But here's the thing. Bitcoin was designed to adapt. If quantum computers become powerful enough to pose a real threat, the Bitcoin network could perform something called a hard fork, essentially upgrading its encryption to a quantum-resistant algorithm. This isn't just theoretical. Bitcoin has done it before. In 2017, the Bitcoin blockchain split into two versions, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. And the same could happen to protect against quantum threats. Why this matters for everyone. If quantum computers ever reach the point where they can crack Bitcoin, they won't just be a threat to crypto. They'd also break the encryption protecting banks, healthcare systems, stock markets, military communications, and your personal data. Bitcoin would likely be one of the first targets. Not because it's the easiest, but because it's decentralized and open, making it a safer test target than, say, hacking a government system. 
However, the Bitcoin community is already working on quantum resistance solutions. Researchers are exploring new algorithms that can withstand quantum attacks. So, while quantum computing is a when problem, not an if problem, Bitcoin is built to adapt and survive. So, what should you do? Here's my advice. Stay informed. Follow updates in both quantum computing and Bitcoin technology. Diversify your portfolio. While Bitcoin is resilient, no investment is ever 100% risk-free. Store your Bitcoin securely. Use hardware wallets and follow best practices to protect your assets. Final thoughts. Quantum computing is one of the most exciting and terrifying advancements of our time. It has the potential to solve some of humanity's biggest problems, but it also raises serious questions about security and privacy. Will quantum computers break Bitcoin? Maybe someday. But if history has taught us anything, it's that Bitcoin and its community are remarkably resilient. What do you think? Are quantum computers the end of Bitcoin? Or will the crypto world stay one step ahead? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, smash that like button if you found this video helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for more content on finance, tech, and the future of investing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.